Yo, what is up, y'all? Willie Beeman here, getting ready to bring you guys another 2K17 video. But today's video is all about 2K18. So this is going to be my second 2K18 archetype theory. This is basi basically based off of if they're going to be dual archetypes. I'm going to go over the glass cleaner build today. And if you haven't seen my first video, my first video was over sharpshooters and stretch bigs. So if you're interested in that, go check that out on my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button for me. And if you end up liking this video, give me, give me, give me a like, man. Come on, give me a like. Just, just one like. That's that's all. That's all I need. Just one. Can we get one like on this video? All right. All right, man. Let's get into this. Okay, glass cleaner, man. I played a lot of glass cleaner this year, so I know the glass cleaner really well. Um, for me, I made a 7'3", 340-pound glass cleaner and a 6'10", 199-pound glass cleaner. Both of them badged out. Um, I actually didn't get Hall of Fame Hustle Rebounder on either one because I'm not a grinder. Um, but I do know Hustle Rebounder is pretty amazing. It's a great badge. Um, and so if we're looking at this build based off of 2K17, this is one of the best builds in the game overall regardless of where you're at twos threes fours pro-am everywhere you saw glass cleaners literally everywhere um so this is going to be a great build on 2k18 regardless of whether they bring archetypes uh, dual archetypes secondary archetypes all that good stuff so that's why i wanted to make it its own video um so looking at the glass cleaner obviously their strengths are going to be strength rebounding and around the rim and also a little bit of um yeah well that's pretty much it honestly uh everything else is pretty garbage you know the defending and everything like that was all the same except for the paint protectors um so you know the badges looking at the badges hustle rebounder amazing badge if, if you got this on hall of fame man you were snagging on everybody break starter garbage um hopefully on 2k18 they adjust this thing and make it kind of worthwhile to get Put back king, great badge. Brick wall, best badge, <laughs> one of the best badges in the game. It's arguably the best badge in the game, uh, especially for like twos and stuff like that. And Bruiser was actually pretty good this year. Uh, in the past, on like 15 and 16, it was pretty much pointless. Uh, but this year, it, it actually helped out with defense and uh, and boxing out. And really, uh, since there was a stamina meter this year, it definitely helped out with post scores. Um, being able to drain their stamina whenever they try to try to post up on you is really really nice um, So now going into secondary archetypes you have the athletic finisher the stretch big the paint protector and the post score uh, So those are gonna be the other archetypes that are in 2k 17 I can't really theorize if they're gonna bring new archetypes to, to the center So what I'm gonna go over is if you can add one of those archetypes to this build so first off, we're going to go over the athletic finisher build added onto the glass cleaner. So I think pretty much anything added on the glass cleaner is going to be a good build. Um, so starting off with the athletic finisher, you're obviously going to be adding a lot of inside ability. This is going to make him more of a 2K16 kind of inside style center. Uh, obviously your post scoring is not going to be there. Uh, which is kind of an L, um, but everything else is going to basically put you like a 2K16 center. Uh, defense is still lacking, so, you know, the rebounding defense, you know, the three-point shooting, if they keep it the same as 2K17, uh, pretty much any glass cleaner can hit from the corner, uh, as long as you got hot spots and things like that. And if they bring back the grand badge, you know, the grand badge will definitely add on to your three-point shooting as well. Um, so regardless of whatever dual archetype you do, uh, grand badge and hot spots you can shoot threes from anywhere um, So I think this is a really viable build. I don't think it's gonna be very popular um, Maybe in the pro-am circuit uh, Just because you know, it's it's really nice to be able to finish around the rim and things like that um, And being athletic is definitely gonna help out with your defense um, Even though your defensive skills are down just just having a little bit more athleticism definitely helps with your defense and probably your snagging ability. So this might be the best snagging build in the game. Um, so that, that remains to be seen. You know, if you just want to be a strict snagger in the stage or something like that, this might be where you go. All right, so the next one, going to be the most popular build in the game, if you ask me. Glass cleaner, stretch big. Uh, so you're snagging boards, you're stretching the floor, you're doing, doing a little bit of everything. 
Uh, I thought the Stretch Big was probably like the best center build um, for the park this year if you knew how to build it. Um, obviously all of those badges down there, if you're able to combine Glass Cleaner badges with Stretch Big badges, that's a GG. That's going to be some pretty nice badge combinations between having Brick Wall and being able to catch and shoot, pick and popper. Um, good, good lord, good lord. Uh, that, that would be pretty OP. Um, so I really am not going to go into a huge amount of detail on this just because I went over this in my last video. So glass cleaner paint protector. This is going to be a amazing Pro-Am build. I think this is going to be really popular in the Pro-Am, especially for those guys that really know how to shoot. Um, because if you know your shot, you can shoot with basically any center build in the game, at least on 2K17. So I think it's really going to be less important for those really competitive guys to actually have Stretch Big added onto their glass cleaner. So they're probably going to go this direction. Um, this will probably be tied with the, the glass cleaner post score as probably the most uh, used dual archetype combination in the Pro-Am. So if you're Pro-Am focused, this is for you. And even in Park, I think this is going to be a great build. Now for post score, post score glass cleaner. Uh, Quizzy has already told me that this is what he's going to go with if they end up doing dual archetypes. If you know Quizzy, I play with him a lot. He's my glass cleaner of choice, um, at this, especially at this point of the year. Um, so the glass cleaner post score, I think, is going to be probably a pretty, pretty sweet uh, twos build, um, along with threes and probably pro-am. Fours, I would never bring a post score to the fours. Um, just because the fours are just crowded and nobody knows really how to use a post score in the fours. Nobody knows how to spread the floor. Um, and, and the post score build is a great build um, as long as you know how to, uh, or you don't play with randoms. You, and the other people you're playing with know how to spread the floor. Um, also, it depends on 2K18 and how they adjust the fouling. Uh, this year, there's really no, no limit on fouls in the park, so you could basically spam square on post scores and stop them. Um, so hopefully uh, 2K18 adjusts things a bit, either adds kind of a fouling limit or maybe some uh, limitations on reaching and things like that while you're in the post, uh, make the post score a little bit more viable. Um, but basically that's that's kind of like my quick overview. Um, I really want to kind of hear you guys' comments in the, in the in the comments section below. I think that there's going to be a lot of really good uh, dual archetypes for the center position. I think it's going to be a lot more balanced than the guard position really. I think there's only a couple of different like uh, dual archetypes that are really gonna happen at the guard position or at least dominate in the guard position. But the center position really, you can go pretty much anywhere. I mean, athletic finisher, stretch big, paint protector, post scorer, glass cleaner. They did a pretty good job in 2K17 of balancing out the centers. Um, a lot better than the guards if you ask me. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all my thoughts. Hit up the comment section below if you guys wanna talk about this further. further. And I'll also have some details in the description below on just kind of like a little bit more of my detailed thoughts on these builds. So check that out if you uh, little, want a little bit more detail as well. Um, but anyway, this is Willie Beeman, and I'm out. Peace.